Hi, Martin here with another video. And today I'm gonna to show you how to add videos to OneNote. We'll look at adding videos from online sources such as YouTube, and also how to add your own video files. So let's get started. So here I have a blank OneNote page, uh, and let's firstly look at how we can add a video from an online website like YouTube. So obviously first and foremost, you need to head over to YouTube and you need to open up the video that you wanna to add to your OneNote. So from here, we simply need to head up to the address bar. We need to highlight and then we need to copy it. And then we can simply head back to OneNote and we can paste the link into our OneNote page. Now, the great thing about this is that it actually uh, embeds the video so that it can be played directly in the OneNote itself. So we can resize to our desired size here, and then you can simply click play, and then your video that you've just copied over will start playing. Now, obviously this is a huge benefit because it means you haven't got to send people out to other websites or to other links. From within here, you can actually click on YouTube. So if you wanted to say watch it in full screen, you could click watch in YouTube, and then you could um, watch that video in full screen. But having the option to have it embedded in OneNote so people don't have to go anywhere else to look at your files and uh, to look at your video is a really useful tool. Okay, so that's our online video. So what if you have a video file that you want to add? So adding one from YouTube from online, really easy, really straightforward. Copy and paste the link, it embeds in OneNote beautifully. But what if you have a your own video file, you've recorded your own uh, tutorial or information that you need to uh, give to students or co-workers or those sorts of things. So first and foremost, you obviously need to find your uh, video. So I've got a uh, MP4 here. Now you take that file and you can simply drag and drop it into OneNote. Now, when we drag and drop it, we have a couple of options. So upload to OneDrive and insert link. I'll talk about that in a second. But the second option is insert as an attachment. So this would be just your more traditional. So you can see here now, I have a essentially kind of quick time because I'm on Mac, a quick time icon. So that's what it's gonna open in. I can double click on that and then my video is there and people can start to watch it. So pretty quick and easy. Um, obviously it will open up in you know, the relevant video player on whomever uh, is looking at your OneNote page. Um, doesn't look quite as nice as the embedded one from online, but still works really well. Okay, so the other option you have for adding a video file, so if we go back and get our video, we can drag and drop again. So we have the other option, upload to OneDrive and insert link. Now this is um, really useful if you've got video files that are quite large. Um, so sometimes inserting as an attachment, if the file's over a certain size, it's not a possibility. So you'll need to upload it to OneDrive and insert link. Um, so if we essentially click on that, your file will upload to OneDrive. Now, obviously, depending on uh, how big your video file is, this may take a while. Um, this video file I've got here is a very small one just for kind of demonstration purposes. So now instead of that kind of video icon, you'll have a link. So you'll be able, the end user for you will be able to click on that link and then access the video. Now, this has a benefit of kind of being more uh, universal. So as long as people can um, click on a link and open a browser, so say on a phone, then that video will work from them. Um, inserting as an attachment when you are on those kind of mobile devices sometimes might not work quite so well. However, it's great to have multiple options. So there you have it. That's how you can add videos to OneNote, both from online and your own video files. So if this video has been useful, please give it a like, comment below, and subscribe for more tech tips and tutorials. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.